Welcome to day 12 in my six mark challenge for AQA GCC Science. In the run up to the exams, Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new video each day with a six mark question so you can practice how to answer them. You'll find a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also you can access all of the previous videos via the playlist. Today we're looking at the waves topic from unit six of physics paper two. But before you dive in, just a couple of reminders. Firstly, this looks like an essay question. You're probably going to get a whole sheet of A4 to write your answer on, but remember it's really not. In the GCC science exams, you're given credit for laying your answer out in a logical order, but there aren't any marks at all for having things in full sentences or paragraphs. In fact, there aren't even any marks for correct spelling. So remember, you're going to make your life easier and your examiner's life easier if you're using bullet points or numbered lists or even a table, which to be honest is what I would do here because you're doing a comparison. You also need to make sure that you are answering the full question. So making sure that you include information about both microwaves and sound waves and talk about their properties and their uses. If you haven't done so already, pause the video now and give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. As I've already said, this question is perfect for answering in the form of a table. The advantage of using a table is that it makes it really clear to your examiner that you've properly compared the two and you've included the information about both types of wave. It's also going to mean that you can save yourself a little bit of time in terms of not needing to write the same words twice. So the first thing that I would identify is that microwaves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, whereas sound waves are not electromagnetic. Then I'd be discussing the type of wave. So microwaves being part of the EM spectrum are transverse waves, whereas sound waves are longitudinal. Then they also vary massively in terms of their speed. So microwaves travel at the speed of light, in other words, three times 10 to the eight meters per second, whereas sound waves travel at more like 300 meters per second. So they're much, much slower. They also differ massively in frequency. So the frequency of a microwave is about one gigahertz, whereas the frequency of a sound wave is about a million times smaller. Obviously for human hearing, we can hear anything from about 20 kilohertz down to 20 hertz, but I'm just kind of simplifying things here. Electromagnetic waves like microwaves can travel through a vacuum, whereas sound waves can't. So sound waves need particles in order to be able to travel. That's why you can see things in space, but you can't hear things. Now, both kinds of wave can be used for communication. So microwaves are how you send a text message on your mobile phone and just generally satellite communications, whereas sound waves are obviously how we communicate directly just when we're speaking. And then we also use microwaves in a microwave oven for cooking food. And we also use sound waves for imaging. So if you're thinking about ultrasound, which is basically just a sound wave with a different frequency and how you can use that for prenatal imaging, but also for things like ships surveying how far it is to the bottom of the sea or also in industry when they're looking for things like cracks in pipes. In order to get full marks on this question, you're obviously going to need to discuss both microwaves and sound waves. In the past, whenever AQA include a question where they give you two different things to compare, if you've only talked about one of them, they've capped you at level two, which would be four marks. So even if you've said everything there is to say about microwaves, you can only get four marks. Likewise, if you've only talked about the properties and not mentioned the uses, then that would cap you at level two. So to get five or six marks, we need to be discussing both kinds of wave and also the properties and the uses. And then apart from that, it's probably going to be a mark per comparison. Although you can probably get away with saying things like the microwaves travel at a much greater speed or they have a much higher frequency. And either of those I think would be a valid comparison. So would give you a mark, even if you haven't actually specified numbers in there. That's it for week two of this six mark challenge. But next week we'll be back with biology paper one again. And Monday's question is all about why smoking is bad for your health. Remember, you can find a link in the description below to the questions for each week's videos, and you can also find the playlist with all of the previous videos that you might have missed. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this week's Six Mark Challenges. I'll be back again on Monday, and I hope to see you then. If you found this useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC Science revision videos coming soon.